Hi and welcome to the line chart customization tutorial. Let's get started by going into our project panel. Go to the all graphs folder. Go to the line graph folder. As you can see in this folder we have um, a few compositions. You're going to actually enter your data in four different comps. Uh, you don't have to use all of the lines. There's four lines to choose from. If you want to just use two or even one, uh, it's really easy to do. You also have your line chart text um, composition, and this is where you change all of the text. Uh, and then we have our line graph render comp, which is the comp that you're going to render out or that you're going to use in any other uh, composition. If you wanted to pre-comp them into a different preview, you can. So let's start by double clicking on the line graph render comp. We'll open that up. And just to give you a quick overview of this, we have our line chart text pre-comp in here. We have our background pattern and our background. So let's move on to changing our text. So we're going to open the line chart text layer, double click that. And as you can see, we have some animated text layers. There we go, we have our camera. It's keyframed as well. We also have a little color palette here. You can always change those colors by double clicking on that. Composition, you can open this up and they're all shape layers are pretty easy to change. You can change our fill effect right up at the top. And it's a guide layer, so you'll only see it in this composition and it won't uh, be visible in any other comps. So to edit your text, uh, just double click on any text layer and it gets highlighted and that means it's, you can edit. You can type your text. And in all these text layers you can go to the character panel to change the font, the, uh, change the color, and you can change the size as well. Um, all of the text layers have the all caps option selected. If you deselect it, it will revert back to your original formatting. And on, this layer also has a layer style applied to it, which is the drop shadow. If you twirl down into the drop shadow, you can change the color of that drop shadow. You can also change the distance and any other parameter you like. Okay, so you have four lines here, and you don't have to use all of these lines, actually. You, if you want to turn them off, just use the eyeball icon to turn off that layer. There you go. Uh, so let's get started by going to the enter line 01 data, double click that. You will actually, let me hide some of those layers. We're shying a lot of, cause there's a lot of layers in here. So we're gonna shy them to clean this timeline up a little. If we select our inner chart data layer and go to our effects controls, you'll see all of our controls here. And we um, can set a maximum value. And if you change this, it will, the graph will respond. We can change the space between, which will just spread out these, uh, these lines. And we actually have 40 sets, data sets in this uh, comp. So if you don't quite have that many, you can turn these lines off. So let's say we only have 25. We'll select line 26 through 40 and just Click the checkbox and turn that off. And if we go back to the space between, we can spread that out over the, the width of the chart. The data is not animated, so you can just go into our enter data slider here and change that. And each point will be moved. So you'll just repeat that for every data set. If we go to our chart controls, it's pretty simple. Uh, we have a slider for our line thickness, if you wanted to make that thinner or thicker, and you have a line color. You can change that here as well. And if we go back to our line chart text, you'll see that our line color is changed and it also is dynamically uh, linked to this circle for data number one. There we go. And you can also change that color for data 01 as well. 
uh, with the color picker in the character panel, or you can um, leave it as is. So that's pretty much it. You just repeat that process for each graph and good luck.